you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia Priyata and today I am going to talk to you all about piercing. So I have a bunch and we are going to talk about where I got them, how I got them, how I cared for them, and many more other questions that you sent over. First of all, I'd like to apologize that I didn't get to post a video last week and I'm going to sort of like shift my posting schedule from here on out because I get really, really busy towards the, the latter part of the week. So I'm going to try and adjust it to make sure that I always come out with content for you guys uh, because I always want to make sure that I give you guys um, quality um, vlogs. But of course, you guys, before we get started, please always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to hit the notification button. And always remember all my social media um, accounts are linked down below in the description box. So always remember you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, on Facebook, and Twitter as well. Alright, so without further ado, here we go, you guys. This is my quick um, piercing Q&A as well as piercing care video. Alright, so they're actually not... A lot of questions but I am going to read out the ones that were really pretty much asked repetitively but asked in different ways so first up is which is your favorite piercing and which is the one that I regret so luckily I can say that I have zero regrets with my piercings I love them all I always feel like every time I see them or every time I put an earring or every time I change an earring I feel like yeah I did that <laughs> Um, so my favorite one though would have to be this, the Tragus piercing, and I got it um, with my sister. Uh, the, that's actually the reason why I like it. It's because it's kind of like a sibling um, piercing that I have with my sister Pam. We got it together and it was my birthday gift for her last year. So when she got it, I thought, why not me as well? Okay, so someone actually sent a four-in-one question, so um, I'm going to break it down. And the first question goes, where did I get my piercings? So aside from the original ones that I got when I was younger by my parents who got it done at a pediatrician's office, um, these in my, on my lobe were all done at the beach shop in Rockwell. This small one right here, this dot right here, I got it at Broadway Gems in Rockwell. And these two I got at Arte Tattoo in Publishon. Okay, I just want to also add, I got this one at a stall in the mall when I was younger. And this was before piercing um, piercing parlors and tattoo parlors were like a big thing. So I didn't know where to go and I really wanted to get it done. Just so you know that it is not the best way to get your, um, to get your cartilage pierced. Uh, I would highly suggest that if you do get anything above the lobe, um, to get it done using a needle it's safer it's cleaner and at the same time it's less strain on on your body and at the same time they have the right earrings that you need to have placed it'll be it'll look like this these are what the typical um piercing studs look like which are available at piercing parlors or at tattoo um shops next the price for my piercing so of course the one this one I don't know my parents got them for me when I was little the other lobe ones depending on where you go to their um, prices range between 150 pesos to 175 because you have to buy the stud the piercing gun stud and um, it's so it's two so this one this and this I got together, and then this one I got on its own, this one I got on its own, its own, its own, its own. A lot, I know. Um, but for the piercings, the ones up here, like this, um, they differ between 2000 to 2200. Um, it's a little bit pricey, which I was willing to pay because I really, really wanted the piercing, and I knew that I was also paying for someone to do it professionally, for someone to do it um, in a clean manner. I It was a brand new needle that they used, and I also know that that includes the piercing stud. So there you go. Um, best part of the ear that wasn't painful to get pierced was everything down here. <laughs> Literally got a bunch of them pierced and then went shopping right after or went to the beach right after or hung out with friends right after. It does become really warm. So after you get it pierced, 
your lobe tends to like you don't feel it at first you feel it when the blood starts rushing into the part of the ear that got pierced so it sometimes it gets really red so it'll turn into like a tomato <laughs> what i did was i actually got a cold drink and then i put it by my ear but very very lightly yeah so all my low piercings were pretty much painless for me always remember everyone's pain threshold is totally different so if for me it was nothing for you it might be painful for others it might also just feel like an ant bite like nothing um, so yeah, the ones down here are pretty instant. It's literally click and done. But the ones up here, like these two, um, I don't want to scare you, but if you do check videos out on YouTube or anywhere on the internet, they will show you that they have like a forcep and it holds your ear or the part of your ear that you're piercing and then with the needle, they're going to poke it. When they poke it, they're going to put a straw on the other end of the needle and then pull it out. So there's a straw inside here. So it's literally like sticking out. And then what happens is they'll cut it to make it shorter. They'll put the piercing stud on one end and then pull it. And then the piercing stud comes in and then they twist it and then it's done. These up here, they usually do normally hurt more than your lobes. So if you're scared of um, the pain, I suggest you can start down here first. Okay, my sleeping or my pillow situation to avoid infection. So. I normally sleep on one side, so I'm comfortable doing that, or I'm comfortable sleeping like this, like on my chest. So I didn't have a hard time. The one I will admit that was a little bit more difficult was this one. Because at least here, when you lean, they're, they're, like if you lean like this, it's easy. But this one, it was kind of tough because uh, it would get snagged on my ear sometimes when I would tuck my ear back or when I would tie it or when I would pull it to the side as I'm going to lie down. I just have an, I have normal cotton um, bed sheets, so that was fine with me. I just always remember to clean my piercings before going to bed. So, safest places to get piercings. I would highly recommend that you go to people that are um, certified in piercing ears like i mentioned go to a piercing uh parlor or a tattoo shop that has um that has somebody that will do it and has learned how to do it professionally i understand that um it's sometimes hard to find i honestly believe that that's your best bet that would be hypocritical of me because i did go to the mall to get my ears pierced there's nothing wrong with that personally in my preference again nowadays that we have the we have the ability to go to piercing parlors that's where i highly suggest that you all go so someone asked tell us about your most painful piercing my most painful piercing was this one right here um it's called a uh, tragus piercing and why was it the most painful because it was the first time i got pierced with a needle and I think that's the reason why it was the most painful. Also, probably because it's much of a thicker cartilage than this part and this part of my ear. So what happened was my sister really wanted to get one and I really wanted to get one. So we had this idea of going to Publishon to get it done, which we did. Uh, I remember she got it done first. We, we both laughed about it when we were there and we were like, Oh my god, we're, I bet you're gonna take so long, blah blah blah. So, my sister got it done and I actually watched her get pierced which kind of freaked me out a little bit and I was like second guessing myself like am I gonna do this am I gonna do this but me being me I was like nah nah I'm not gonna back out of this like I really want one so I'm gonna go get one so I sat down on the chair and then um I remember the the guy who pierced my ear asked me if like everything okay he was laughing at me because i was sweating like honestly i was sweating because i was so nervous because i watched my sister get pierced i remember i was just like oh okay let's go like i i sat down and then i was like leaning on one side because it was here right and then like so they begin with sterilizing your ear so they clean it with um they clean it with alcohol and then they ask you where you want it so i told him i want it in the middle so he goes okay here then when you kind of um are ready so he'll mark it and then you're sitting down so I had to pull my hair on one side and he goes okay on the count of three hold your breath so in my head I was like oh my god 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 it's gonna happen already oh my god it's gonna happen so I sat there and I was like okay it's not gonna hurt it's not gonna hurt it's not gonna hurt oh my god oh my god 
like I was just really telling myself like Patrish, you want this, you're gonna do it, you're gonna get it. All right, so one, two, three, boom. And then I was like, I remember I just inhaled so much air. I was like, <sighs> I froze up and then I got my phone up and then I was like, I was like, there's a, there's, there's a straw in my ear. Like that's what it, oh my God. And then I was like, like do I touch it? No, Patricia, don't touch it. And then he goes, okay, um, this might sting a little bit because of course it's a wound, right? He was like, we're going to put the earring here into the other end of the straw and then carefully pull it into your ears. I was like, okay. <laughs> he did it. And then he goes, okay, you're done. Then he um, got a Q-tip, cleaned up some of the blood, of course, and then he screwed the top, the ball of my piercing. And then he goes, okay, you're done. So I was like, that's it? And then he was like, yeah, that's it. And I was like, oh. That's it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay. So I paid and then I remember I sat down in the car and I was like... And I looked at my sister and I was like, we did it. We got our ears pierced. And that was my piercing story. And that was my most painful piercing as well. <laughs> and so like I mentioned, a lot of the questions were very, very repetitive. So I just picked the first one to ask that one question which everyone else asked. I just want to add, by the way, you guys, so if you are going to get your ears pierced um, and you want it to look pretty right away, <laughs> um, like these earrings, this one and this one right here, there. I got them at Wonderlust & Co. You can actually order them online and they will deliver them to you. Um, you can also get them sterilized before getting um, your ears pierced at the piercing parlor that you go to. Always remember when you get your ears pierced, um, I would highly suggest that you get something with a straight um a stud rather than something that's curved or circular when it's curved it does add more a little bit more to your healing time which normally for like these piercings take about a year well for me i waited a year before i changed my earrings um and these normally take about a month or two you can still um, afford for um your body to wait a little bit by the way a little fun fact about my tragus piercing one of the other reasons why i wanted to get it was i read somewhere that uh, which i'm going to read now the tragus is associated with acupuncture um this technique helps to control your appetite and there are some who believe that the tragus piercing can help with anxiety and migraine pain that was a reason why i got it one of the reasons why i don't regret getting my piercing as well all right and with all that said and done and with all the questions answered it is time for me to talk to you about piercing care okay so first off we are going to clip my hair away from my ears i normally use those skincare headbands so that for sure my hair is not in the way so depending on which ear i pull my hair to one side so let's start with this earring, or let me just show you. Let's use this ear first as an example, then we'll go to this one. What you will need when it comes to piercing care is, of course, first, I want you to have clean hands. So I have my alcohol right here. You are also going to need some antibacterial um, ointments. So this one is Neosporin, and this one is Bactifree. You will need um, Q-tips. You will need, well... Technically, you will need to make, um, so this one has tea tree oil, salt, and mineral water. I had an extra bottle of, well, Evian, and I didn't finish it. So I decided to mix it with tea tree oil, which I get from Young Living, and some salt. And last but not least, Neomed Piercing Spray. You can get this in Lazada or in some online stores. I will put links down below, and I'll show you the link of the store of where I got this. Okay, just so you know, the only reason why I have alcohol is only for my hands. Do not put um, alcohol on your piercings because it doesn't really clean it. That's why there are piercing cleaners. So, clean. And my first step whenever I clean my piercings is always this one. The, um, the tea tree oil with um, salt and water. Just you know, the reason why I put tea tree oil is because I got piercing bumps on my tragus piercing, and it can get uncomfortable because it's literally like a—it's not a pimple, but it's like it's literally a bump behind your ear. Um, depending on 
the area you get pierced or how bad it is it could actually get really really big so if i were you um avoid spinning your jewelry avoid touching your jewelry and when you get it pierced try your best to keep your hair away from your piercings just so that it doesn't get stuck and um, if because there's oil in your hair, right? So if it does get in your piercing that can actually cause it to get infected I'm gonna pour a little bit onto the cap There you go just enough you dip the q-tip there and then you just carefully Go around That's my sister's dog croissant and then you put it at the back as well you can feel it out just be really nice and gentle with it and then I want you to do that on any piercing that you just newly get or that you have a bump on so this one doesn't really have one but I can kind of feel like I can afford to clean it tap and then especially because I literally just changed the piercing so there and then at the back as well there you go um, next up will be this Neomed spray. Actually, whenever I travel, I um, kind of put this into a tiny little spray bottle because I don't like bringing aerosol, ooh, aerosol cans with me when I travel. Um, so I put this in a tiny little spray so whenever I'm out, um, I can just spray it, especially when it starts to hurt. But when I'm here in um, Manila and then I have work or um, before or after teaching a class in electric studio because I do sweat, obviously, I bring this. So how this works is um, you shake it a little bit. Well, I shake it and then just aim it at the part that you're going to pierce and there you have it. Oops, I kind of made a mess. And you can actually put this onto the other piercings. Um, you can go for the back here. Okay, and up here as well. Honestly, I don't normally spray every single piercing, but um, I normally put this more on these two because other than them being my newest piercings, they are the ones that were done using a needle, so um, the healing time does take a little bit longer, so I focus on these two for sure. The next and final step is you get Q-tips again. I would get two. And then what I would want you to do is to wipe off any of the excess that you sprayed on. So again, I have two kinds. Why do I have this one? This is um, this one has a pain relieving ointment sort of thing onto it, and then this one is literally just antibacterial ointment. This one is almost done, as you can see. So this one I just put on my two piercings, and then everything else will get this. Okay, and the last step in my piercing care um, routine is to put these here. So first I will get this. I get it with a Q-tip and then I literally push my earrings aside and then I put it around and at the back. A little bit. And then at the back, so here. Okay, and then up next is my Neosporin one. Put it on the Q-tip. And this one just a little there you have it and here at the back so this is croissant this is my sister's little dog so if you heard me like saying ouch earlier or if you hear like the highest pitch of a bark it's this guy's fault say hi hi everyone this is my sister Pam Pam say hi to hi everybody <laughs> Yeah, so this is my sister, and she also got a lot of piercings done. Oh my god, stop! People are gonna think that you're hurting him. Okay, that's how they play, please. Don't think that she's being mean to him. So, anyways, this is the piercing that I got that she also has. Winning! Ta da! So, like I mentioned there, she got it together with me, and was it painful? No. <laughs> Tell the truth. No. Okay, so I guess for her it wasn't painful, but. It took her a while before they put the needle through your ear, remember yeah. that? Like, the whole Arte tattoo was laughing because she was like, she was like, Is it there? No, is it there? No, and they were like, It's not even in your ear yet. And then she was like, oh, Okay, is it there? No, 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 no. And then, voila. So she got that. She also has a lot because when she went to Korea with her friends one year, she came home with how many? 
five new ones. No. Yeah, she got a lot of new ones. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright you guys, and there you have it. Thank you so much for watching my vlog about my piercings and her piercings and a little Q&A about that. Um, so again, don't forget to croissant. Please remind them to like, to comment, to subscribe, and to hit the notification button. It is down here. Croissant, can you point? Right there. Take care always, stay safe, and till the next one. Bye every vloggy.